When scanning an outside environment with true RGB colors, it's very common for the outer limbs and leaves to be white or even a light blue, and this is caused from the sky. As the scan takes place, it collects the leaf location, and then it does a scan again for the photograph, and at that time the leaves move. So it's very common for the leaves to be white. I'm going to show you how to correct that problem now. First, you will apply a constraint by color to your selection tools. Next, you will select the color you want to change. In most cases, it's best to use the polygon shape. This way you're not grabbing areas that you don't want to alter. So in this case, we're going to leave the railroad tracks out. Now you may need to do this step two or three times depending on how much your colors vary. Once again we're going to select another color. It's more on the darker side. And this time I'll do a rectangular shape. And you'll see by doing this I also grab the railroad tracks. And now we have just a couple more little dots in there. So we'll do one more pick color and try to grab one of these little white dots that we're seeing in there. They're more like a, a blue color that we're seeing it's picking. So I'll do another rectangular shape and get those final dots. Now sometimes you'll get these all on the first try. Sometimes it does take two or three tries to get all the colors. Now we're going to switch it to no colors because we don't want it to filter out. And we're going to pick the deselect mode so that we remove all these points from our selection. If you're doing this many times, it's easier to do a rectangular shape and then just remove what you don't want. We're going to move them to the leaves level. We see we could turn that off. Those are the white ones. But instead we want to alter the color. So now we're going to go to the paint tool and we're going to pick the color that we want to choose. So I'm going to do a match on another color one of the leaves that I think look good. That one looks close. And then we're going to change our blending down to a 50% transparency. This way it's not so dominant and we can do subtle changes. And now just with a click of one button we're changing all the leaves on that level. And we do it just a little bit at a time so that they're not too strong. Maybe alter the colors slightly to give it a mixed appearance. And as you can see, the area that we we're working with has been corrected. This concludes my demonstration of how to change false colors in a point cloud. Thank you.